What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to make a tutorial unboxing my wireless headphones, Future Sports, iJoy, IPX7, waterproof. Uh, pretty much the reason why I got these, uh, it was based off of preference. I wanted to get some inexpensive headphones. I already got some Beats by Dre with the wire, a couple of sets of those, and uh, I've been working out pretty much for a while and I wanted to get some for running and working out as far as hitting a bag and stuff like that, punching bag. But I didn't want to spend as much money as, you know, the 140s and 200s for like some Jaybirds or some Bees by Dre's. And the thing that really sold me about these inexpensive ones was more of the design. I have real small ear canals and I like the loop around the ears instead of just the regular earbud by itself I need that extra help you know to go around my ears and it's more has a little gel padding around instead of just a hard plastic but uh, let's get into it let's see working with one hand sorry Okay, a little pouch. Almost like some beats. I'm gonna take all the accessories out. Okay, pretty much we see user manual, standard operating thing that comes with uh, most wireless headphones and uh give you the instructions, you know, most things that people don't like me don't use or read. This is a box, probably some extra uh I'll probably say earbuds or something. Okay, that's the uh the universal USB. Sorry, no editing or nothing going on. Yeah, the little, from a lot of videos I was looking up, because I was trying to find, that's the reason why I'm making this video as well, because in case someone wanted to know about these headphones, I was looking up videos to try to see if someone made a tutorial on this, and uh, no one did, and most ones I was finding about other headphones, the charging cord was pretty short, it's pretty much alright length for this one though, you know. Just like my little beast pouch, I guess. But it's, it seemed like they took the little format of beats. Might be a little sister company or something. Oh, wow. No ear, extra earbuds or nothing in there. I guess it's just a little compartment to hold it. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, from jump, I could tell y'all that the cable feels a little plasticky, a little flimsy. You know, it doesn't feel nearly as durable as a Beats cable, of course, but what do you expect for, you know, I paid $40 with tax and stuff for you hecklers out there, 43 people that don't believe people. And uh, let's see. Okay, just like most uh, wireless headphones, you see they have the volume up and down on top. I'm pretty sure this is the this is the high draw button. It's probably the power button over there. Yeah, this one doesn't do anything. Oh, USB charging cable port right there. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, so I see it's coming on. Oh, it's Bluetoothing. Excuse me, I'm only going. I'm gonna be able to have the Bluetooth until my old ass iPod Generation Three. If I didn't, I would have to do it to my Galaxy S7, and uh, the quality would have been a lot worse if I'd have recorded it with the Bluetooth. I mean, with the 
the old iPod. So let's see. Oh, there it is. I joy popped up pretty easy. So it's connected. Let's see how uh, it does with music. I have a playlist on here. Let me go to my playlist. Oops. Well, I guess. So, I have to be fair that I'm an Android user, but the pin on higher plays. Wow, I didn't even put them in my ear, but let me see. Oh yeah, these sound real good. Okay, well, the sound sounds very good. I like how they felt in my ear. Like I said, this gel is very good. I have real small ear canals, and uh, right now, like I said, uh, forty bucks. I mean, I'm sure you guys are there are more pros than me to find something maybe cheaper, but I have to test them out for a while but as of right now it seemed like they was worth it instead of me spending 140 or 200 dollars for another pair of headphones just for me to get some wireless so like and subscribe let me know what you guys think uh appreciate y'all watching thanks